All right, I'm going to touch on materials here. Not really deep. When we get into rendering, we'll get way more into materials. But for now, what I'm going to do is turn off polyframe. And we're going to talk. We've touched on, you know, the material matte cap and smart standard materials. We did switch over to Skin Shader 4 earlier. Uh, but just to dive a little bit into materials here, what I have here is an object, and I have matte cap gray assigned. You might have matte cap red wax by default, and that's a fine material. Nothing wrong with that. If you open up your subtool here, if for some reason your objects aren't changing whenever you go from material to material, you may have uh, colorize turned on with uh, material assigned. Remember when I was talking about brush options, MRGB, RGB, and M were skipping for now. But if you were, if you did have an object that was painted on or had vert color, there could be materials or vertex color information assigned to your object. If that's the case, go over here to your subtool, turn off that little paintbrush, which is also, if you go to the poly paint menu, Colorize is right here, that turns that on and off, also turns off this little brush icon right there. So now you should be able to go through here, and you can also just hover over any of these materials and it should update up at the top here. And if it doesn't, if this preview material on mesh is turned off, that's probably why. Now, real simply put, matte cap materials aren't affected by lights. We're not going to get real heavy into lights just yet, but just as an overview, um, you can choose any of these matte caps, they're pretty cool. You can download your own matte caps. And you can also, if I hit the comma key here, then go into materials. You probably have some already in here. Um, if you go to my YouTube channel under the playlists, there's a ZBrush guide stylized rendering. And if you click on that, you're gonna see there's 15 videos that basically walks through zbrushguides.com's Pablo Munoz Gomez's website, where we went through and did this ZBrush comic style renderer PDF. We just went through it on video. So that'll dive a little bit deeper, but we can go ahead and we can double click any of these if you wanted to have like a comic book style look. We can double click this one and you can see we're getting a nice comic book style render. We can hit BPR and that'll kind of even out our aliasing on the edges, all that good stuff. So your matte caps are being controlled by, if we close down these menus over here and again, double click these dividers to open it, go over here to material, drag that over and we've opened up modifiers you're going to see there's a little shader ball in here. That's basically controlling the lighting. If we switch that to this reflection or to metal, you're going to see this shader ball right here. And you can make these in Photoshop. You can make them within ZBrush itself. Again, we're not going to get really in-depth into this. But feel free to download or choose any matte caps that you want. If you do don't download any, go to the Lightbox video, and that'll tell you, for example, where to put these files so you can grab them from Lightbox. And if we have our material menu, we'll go ahead and close that. We'll grab our light. So we can throw a light, our light menu in here. You're going to see as I click and drag on this orange dot, again, we're going to get more into lights when we get into rendering. But as we click and drag this orange dot around, it's not really updating the light on the object. Again, because that material has the lighting built in, we can hit BPR, and that BPR will cast a shadow, which is controlled by one light. Uh, however, if we go over here to like a basic material, and now as we move this light around, you're going to see this light actually updates on our object. So while you're sculpting, it might be a good idea to change your lighting conditions so you can kind of see your forms a little bit better. Just like in traditional sculpting, you put your sculpt, you know, you work on it on a turntable and you raise it up so you can see it and all that good stuff. And also you get different lighting conditions so you can see how light is affecting your forms. And if you want to, you can also turn on multiple lights. So we can put a light maybe up to the upper left and you can click on another light just by selecting it and you can move this down here and so now you got a little fill light going in or you can turn that off if you want to it's kind of up to you and if we grab our material menu back and we have modifiers open with the basic material selected here it's a lot of different options you can change but feel free to check any of these out we've also got like toy plastic if you want it shiny and that's controlled by the specular here so you can make it more or less specular you can change the specular curve to be really sharp or you can kind of drag that curve and we talked about curves earlier and you can also do some really really nice stylized options with these curves as well but we'll get to that when we get to rendering but for now just know you can use your basic materials that have lighting that affects them as well as matte cap materials that look cool but aren't going to be affected as much by light. One more thing I want to mention really quickly, while this colorize is turned off, you are able to not only change your material on the fly, so we can go from just a gradient map to back to basic material, you can also go through here and you can change the color. So you can click through here and if you want more color options you can go to the color menu here, a little bit of a bigger picker in here, 
and then under modifiers, there's a few more different types of choices. But generally speaking, I'll keep this up at white, change the material properties how I want, and continue sculpting from there. One addendum I want to make to the material settings here, you're going to see we have matcap gray uh, selected. Whenever I start up ZBrush, it actually starts up with matcap gray. And that's because you can select any material in here, and then you're going to see right down here at the bottom is save as startup material. That'll go ahead and tell ZBrush, hey, every time I start up ZBrush, I want to have that material assigned as by default to my objects. 